Hi, in this video, we're going to be installing Yarch Linux, the perfect Linux distribution for degenerated weebs. We're going to be checking out all the features of it and installing it on an old, on a laptop which is older than me and can barely run Windows. Let's get into this. And before we begin, I have a Discord server, so if you want to daily me out inside of my general chat, go ahead and join. Please. I need, I need people. You can also join if you like counting in cursed ways, because I have a weird counting channel. Oh my god, this... <laughs> <laughs> this looks so silly, bro. Okay, Nyarch Linux is okay. Let's do let's, let's let's start the installer. All right. Oh god. Okay, then that's fine. I'm I'm guessing that's completely fine. We have a mouse cursor and um, it, it works on more than like more than like five FPS. Okay. It's not the best frame rate, but so far pretty good. I wonder how long it's gonna take before it gets onto the installer or like the UI. Yeah, it didn't take that long. In fact, KDE loaded. Oh my god! Okay, this is gonna be like the fastest experience of um, Yarch Linux we're gonna be seeing on this YouTube channel. Because we're installing Yarch Linux. Oh, oh, it's still loading. Um, we're installing Yarch Linux on a Pentium computer from like two thousand and seven. So yeah, as you can see, the performance isn't the best. Clearly, when I do stuff, um, it lags. It lags. Let's install the system. Uh, so we already get presented with um anime girl on the background. Oh, let's just let's just get into the installation. Uh, let's see how long this will take to start. I'm trying to open the battery dialog to see how much battery life we have. Okay, we got fifty three percent of um battery now. The laptop's battery is dead. So why do we have two GS connects? Um, that's not supposed. <laughs> this is oh my god. This is like the worst experience of Linux we're gonna have today. You would think this will run great, but I mean, we went to the hardware we have, this is gonna be terrible. Okay, the installer has launched, up, and we're launching! This took forever. Um, now it's gonna be loading modules. I wanna try and go to the file browser to see what is on the hard drive right now, as well. Alright chat, the seeps freezing, freezing, so I have a different plan. It's called VMware and trying to install it using a different method. Since this doesn't work and just freezes because of OOM or out of memory issues, I have a backup plan. Behold, my personal laptop. Now you may be wondering, Lunia, will I be installing the fucking OS on my current laptop? Nope. We already have Arch Linux on here by the way, look. And get this, I have VMware installed. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is use VMware to my advantage to install Yarch on an external SSD. No one is actually stopping me from using VMware to install this operating system. And this is what I'm probably going to be doing, because on VMware, and on this laptop specifically, I can set up to 32GB of memory to install the operating system. And then, if I install the operating system, I can 100% give it like 16GB of swap space in order to go ahead and compensate for the low amount of memory. Now, Step number one is going to be having to disassemble the laptop. Let's get into that now. Step number one is to go ahead and disassemble the laptop. Here, I already have it unscrewed because I lost the two screws inside of here. But you can disassemble the actual laptop. If you can open it up like this. Amazing. And additionally, in counterparts to the hard to the cover not being mounted. The hard drive doesn't hold in either, so now we have disassembled and removed the SSD. Now that we started VMware as root on our actual uh, Linux laptop, it's time to go ahead and set up and install this virtual machine and use custom instead, which will allow us to go ahead and configure an external drive. Now let me show you. We can go through the entire setup again, but watch. Additionally, we can also configure more CPU cores and more memory before we even actually create the virtual machine but the advantage is here we can choose SATA and we can choose a user physical disk now here we have an advantage because I can use the uh, by ID and use the Samsung SSD Evo drive and now we can essentially just power on the virtual machine you can see if I click finish everything seems to be working and we can now start the virtual machine we can install Yarch Linux let's do it now the boot partition, or the boot part of this OS, will be a bit faster. 
because we're no longer limited to a shitty old CPU and here we are on the actual install all we have to now do all we have to now do is just install the operating system and we don't have to worry about anything else because as you can see our system works fine now it's way faster and way more responsive all oh, right now we have a stuff on our screen this is amazing okay let's try and see if I can get up something representing like top or something to see how much of a memory we would actually use on the real hardware as you can see we have a total of 707,900 megabytes out of which around 2.2 gigabytes are used which is slightly more than the actual laptops uh, memory we can actually use on there the laptop has 2 gigabyte sticks of DDR2 memory I think it's DDR2 now we can go to the usual install this is all correct let's erase the disk now we have selection between swap, no hibernate, with hibernate and swap to file. I'm not gonna care about hibernation so we're gonna choose swap no hibernate and btrfs as the file system. And we can continue next. We can set up our account obviously. Let's use the username Lunia and instead of VMware virtual laptop let's just call it Lunia laptop. So Lunia old lappy. Let's log in automatically and let's use the same account for the administrator and we can now install the operating system. And now we can browse the actual essential features on the operating system. Astolfo, welcome to Narch Linux 25.04. I don't think, I didn't know that um their point release is in Arch, but it's fine I guess. Let's browse this with together. Join our Telegram channel and our Discord server. Just be always up to date. You can join them. I'm probably not gonna join. Maybe I will. Ask Arch Chan. Nyarch assistant is more than just a digital assistant. She's a cute, quirky companion, ready to help with anything. We'll wonder if AI will actually work on this laptop, because this thing is slow, it doesn't even have a GPU, and I bet the CPU is not gonna run a fucking AI model, which is also presumably why it uses a lot of memory. Enhance your weeb flow. Nyarch Linux features the best applications specifically made for weebs, and we even have a cat girl downloader. This is gonna be so much fun. Express yourself. Change your customization easily in Yarch Customize, be by default. Well, I fucking didn't read that. I use Yarch by the way. Tell everyone you use Yarch Linux with the Yarch fetch command. I'm probably gonna run that on the actual hardware after updating. White software availability. Yarch Linux aims to make software installation more easily. Install apps from Node Software. Flatpak is installed by default with Flatpak enabled, giving easy access to a huge catalog of applications. Install packages from the HUR. Arch Linux repositories and Arch user repositories using the NIAI command. Gear level is installed by default to provide easy installation of app images. Alright, amazing. You may restart into your new system or continue using the Yarch Linux just live environment. Well, let's try and reboot and let's see if it actually boots and mounts the uh, swap partition. And if that works, I'll try and put the actual city into the laptop. Well, Nyarch Linux is the first option with a uh, lowercase n. Let's launch it. Oh, it has um, a custom loading screen. I could set that up too, but it's just too lazy. I think, uh, I think uh, System D can take that part. Yeah, okay, let's try and log in as Lunia. This time I type it right, because it froze. Alright, we're in. Let's try and go to the terminal and see my memory situation is going. Alright, we have swap, we can actually use this. Alright, now we can actually install the SSD back into the laptop. Perfect. Yarch Linux. Alright, show me what you got. We're booting into the system now. Oh my god, I'm so excited, bro. Yarch Linux. Let's, oh my god, it actually boots. Let's log in. Actually runs better than in the virtual machine, which surprise I didn't even install drivers. And alright, here we go, we're starting in. Welcome to Nyarch. Nyarch Linux is a large Linux based disk OS which aims to recreate create the best possible experience for weebs. Material you <laughs> choose any way for your wallpaper, the desktop and application being see automatically adjust their colors to make you feel at home. This is achieved using a modified version of the Material U GNOME extension. Yard customize. Change your layer quickly and customize animations in appearance. Let's see what actually this has to offer. Alright, so we can choose what layout we want. 
But I'm just gonna leave the default because I just don't need anything. And something about theming. Material Uvu. Color theming. Blur. Wobbly windows. Ooh. Oh, oh that's 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 amazing. Let me just the magic lamp turn that on. Desktop peep obviously. We we gotta turn on everything. Preferences. Desktop icons, yes. System tray icons. I can't live with those. Without those. We we don't need background logo. Alright, so we customize offering system. Need to find customization? You can further customize your operating system by editing the configurations in GNOME tweaks and installing new extensions in the extension manager. Cat Girl Downloader. Oh, this is amazing. The application satisfies one of the most important needs a weeb has. Getting random pictures of cute cat girls whenever they want. Let's go find it out, I guess, because I want cat girls. This is all the operating system I need. Wow. Cat girls. Cat girls galore, let's refresh. Alright, I can't show that one on YouTube. Oh, this is... Okay. Yeah, cool, it's cat girls. I'm gonna leave this one in the corner so you can actually, like, look at it the whole fucking tour, because... Why wouldn't you? Uh, waifu downloader. This application satisfies one of the most important needs that we've had. Getting random pictures of cute anime girls whenever you want. So it's not cat girls, it's just girls. Let's open the waifu downloader now. Uh, it's waifus, alright. Uh, let me just refresh. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just it's just girls, pretty girls. Okay, next. Read manga with comic cool. Discover comics. Let's see what happens. No way that they have check manga. Okay, let's just try this. Um, what would I like to read? Um, most popular. I just don't know what to read. Let's see what. It's. Oh my god! You can <laughs> fucking. <laughs> there is no way you can actually read this. And there is no way it is in Czech. Oh my god. It is in Czech? What the fuck? I'm not gonna show that. It is in Czech, however. But you can read comics. And that's amazing. Next. Listen to your favorite Weeb Radio with Shortwave. They're listening to Anime Radio DE. I don't know um, if I wanna try this because of copyright. No, this is illegal. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. If you use torrents for Linux distributions, it's fine. But we have fragments. Listen to music with Lollipop. I don't have music on this laptop, so we can actually, like, you know, listen using Lollipop. Welcome to Lollipop. Well, let's start probably yes. Alright, I guess we don't have music on here, so we can't really use that. Turn your favorite streaming websites into what apps. Can we turn Fetty into an application? Lunia Key. Fetty.lunia.pet. The icon is probably gonna be downloaded. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can fetch the website. Okay. Let's use this one as the icon. Category, do we have social? No, we don't. Well, let's just use internet. And now we can hit OK. Now I wonder if it launches actually as an app. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be so terrible and as it starts up. Okay, it's running Firefox. And... It is loading, it's just... Okay, there it is! Welcome to Unyaki, we can actually like browse Sharky now. Need other apps? So you can download your Weeb applications such as Discord in the App Store. I don't think we need to try that one out because I already have Discord. The Nyarch Wizard. What does this thing have? The Nyarch Linux Wizard. We have a Wizard Girl in here. And a Wizard Anime Girl. Oh, this is cool. Alright. So this thing just guides you, like, through installation of various programs which you, would may, which you may need. Such as Steam Balls, cartridges, Vesktop, Fractal, amazing. Audio music. Unofficial Spotify client. We got the official Spotify client for Linux and the unofficial Spotify client for GNOME. Amazing. Image editing. GIMP, my favorite, is on top. Video editing. So they recommend KDN Live, which is amazing. As the first one, because it's generally better. Code OSS, VS Code, Builder, Atom, Meld, and GitHub Desktop. Amazing. 
Arnold, so no plus plus. So this is a lot of stuff you can actually like, you can actually install, so even those taking apps are amazing. I wonder what happens if we try and install something, I'm gonna try installing Mission Center from the last time. It just opens up the App Store, okay. So we can just then hit install and install using Flat Hub. Windows is trying to install this. Not too bad of a performance, I mean, presumably because most of the libraries are already installed. Let's open it up, eventually, because it's trying to reload for some reason now. Will it open up? There it is. Amazing, you can see my CPUs at 100% utilization. This is such a lovely application. Let's see, Let's see if we can scale it up. Whoa! Okay, this looks very similar to uh, Windows C's manager. So yeah, that's New Arch uh, Wizard. It just installs applications. I use New Arch, by the way. Let's run this. Wow. Lunia at Lunia at uh, dash old dash lappy. We're running, running New Arch Linux with a pretty outdated kernel. I should probably update it. Nico fetch. It's running Nico fetch instead of... Okay, there's Nyo fetch. And Nico fetch. Check out Nyarch scripts. Some interesting and common terminal commands that you can run with one click. Restore old mirror list, update mirror list, refresh pipeline keys. Run full system upgrade breath, everything that you would usually do. There's actually a lot of things. Keep your system up to date. Nyarch update that helps you keep up your updates. System update. Overview here of the available updates. Flatpak updates are up to date, New Arch updates are up to date. Arch Linux updates, however, we can update. Alright, about 1.6 GB of updates. This is fine. Oh god. Alright, it's done. Error secure done. What I have to do is fix the uh, key rings again because... Alright, so we officially installed updates. This took a while. Let's, before we actually restart, let's actually just get through the setup. Alright, you're doing way full at your command. So we can actually run it in your assistant, but I'll leave that after I reboot the system because it won't run well right now. And, last but not least, we can stay synced because all of the online accounts are supported. Discover more about your desktop. You can run GNOME Tor. Alright, let's reboot because the, the disk activity is not 100% all the time. There is one more thing we gotta try. You know, the AI assistant. Alright, it's actually loading. One wonder how long will this activity of and how much memory will actually swap. I'm starting mission control as well, so we can actually see our CPU usage. You can see our CPU usage is currently pretty high. As far as I know, SSC3 is not supported on here. And this is 4.2, 100% now. So, I don't know if this will run. We're not seeing any CPU activity right now. I can try running it. Interesting, let's see how, what it does. Right, there's CPU usage around 70, 90%. <clears throat> now it's going back down to 60. Oh, hey. Never mind, it just crashes. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to run Assistant. And <clears throat> I'm thinking of uh, ending the software here, the video here. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, this is kind of a silly one, and I'll record another one soon. Okay, bye bye.